I'm Jennifer. Hi, I'm Kim. And, and you're, you're watching, watching the Corvette, Corvette Channel. Channel. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today we're going to be talking about the car show that we put on in Reno, Nevada this last August. Now, it was called the Corvette Camaro Western Invasion of Reno and it was held at the Grand Sierra Resort in Reno, Nevada. And this wasn't our first car show by any means, but it was our first indoor and I'm going to say probably first national car show that we've ever had. We had cars from all over the country that came to this show and I was extremely humbled uh, that everyone took the time to be able to come out here. We had people from Florida, we had people from Montana, we had people from uh, Missouri, Oregon, uh, all over the place and um, it, it just really made me feel good that people actually thought enough of us to be able to come. And it was a it was a pretty busy weekend. Uh, it was uh, Corvettes of Carlisle was going on at the same time. There was other a lot of a lot of other shows that was going on in Reno, and um, they decided that they were they were going to come to our show. And we ended up filling our um, filling the our venue completely full, and so we had no more room for any more cars. But Back uh, at the end of this show, um, we they were, people were asking if we were going to do it again, and I really wasn't thinking that we were going to. I was thought it was just going to be a one and done, and so I told them I said, "Well, you know what? You just wait for wait for a couple months before I make a decision." But uh, right after the show, we started getting a lot of phone calls and emails about how how so many people enjoyed it, and the vendors and our sponsors. They, they wanted to do it again. So we decided, okay, let's go ahead and do this. So we've decided that we're gonna try to uh, work with a couple different venues that have reached out to us, and GSR is one of them, but we wanna see uh, where we can go that would make it even bigger and better. So um, we're, in the, we're in negotiations right now with a couple different places there in Reno. Um, but we're hoping to be able to do it in June or July and this way we're not competing with Hot August Nights or Corvettes of Carlisle or anything like that. So I want you guys to stay tuned. Now what this whole, move, this whole video is about is I got a chance on Friday night before the show. We had loaded about, I think it's 105 cars at that point you're going to see in this video. And um, it was just a real awesome experience. It was about 11, 11.30 at night <clears throat> and um, it was just... Jennifer had already gone up to the hotel room to, to get some rest. We had been up for two days trying to put everything together. And um, it took us about four and a half, five hours, somewhere in that ballpark, to load all the cars in. We had a lot of restrictions that we had to make sure we were handling for the fire marshal. So we had spacing issues and all that type of stuff that we had to worry about. And we finally got everything loaded and it, was, it just turned out to be such a great setup and it looked so beautiful. So I got a chance to spend just, it was just me and the cars and the camera. And we got to be in there and I got to go through and take photos and videos of all of the cars that were in there up and close, nobody there. And you know, um, it was just a real awesome experience. There was millions of cars in there. Uh, million, or I shouldn't say millions of cars, millions of dollars of cars in there. and. Um, I go and I show you all of the different prizes and all the different things that we had. And I did a real terrible job about talking about all of the sponsors in the video. So I just want to take a moment before we jump into the video um, of thanking all the sponsors, local and on the national level, um, on, on taking care of us. You guys did such a great job. Um, and guys, if I still miss some names, I apologize. So guys, I just want to thank all of the different sponsors with no particular order, but I want to go ahead and just say, you know, thank you. Um, Wind Restrictor, they they stepped up and they really helped us out, like which they always do. Um, they were thinking about being able to come out uh, and actually be here uh, for the show, but um, they go to Corvettes at Carlisle every year 
and so they were already predetermined to go there as well as I believe ACS composite was the same thing um, but so so anyway they both supplied parts as well as extreme online store um, as you know I work with a lot of both ACS and extreme and uh, you know they take really good care of me and they took really good care of the show itself um, as well as vet lights vet lights supplied so many different parts um, for the raffle it's just it was crazy um, and then we had a lot of various just local people that donated different things uh, the, the list is so long but all of you that know thank you so much I, I, I we couldn't have done it without you and hopefully you guys will still want to do it again uh, most of you I've talked to already said yeah we're gonna do it bigger and better next time and um, it just everybody just really stepped up and I and I and I really want to put this one out here our title sponsor made a motorsports art Wong um, I couldn't have done it without him, honestly uh, art if you're watching this I, I really appreciate it and I know that uh, right after the show he said hey we're gonna do it again and we're gonna do it bigger and better so and I thought it was pretty darn good but you know I think it's gonna it's gonna be even better this time around so um, if you guys are watching this and uh, you know you guys are thinking about wanting to be a sponsor whether you're one of our one of our national vendors and you'd like to come or you just would like to send some stuff to be able to be included in prizes I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and you know I'm gonna put that information right here on the screen so you guys can do that how you get a hold of me and then anybody that's local to, you know that's here in Sacramento or Reno that would like to be a vendor for this next show uh, reach out to me and we'll, we'll get that going we are going to go ahead and put a lot of this information out on the out um, here fairly soon as soon as we have a date but uh, I just I just wanted to take a moment to tell you guys just how humbling it was to be able to see all of those cars come to my show and I love seeing every one of them and um, it was it was just a great great experience and it's one I will never ever forget so guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump into the video now and hopefully you enjoy it it is a little bit long but uh, you know most of my videos are anyhow so if you need to split it up over a course of time one other thing I want to ask of you guys if you guys have not already subscribed please hit the subscribe button our subscriptions have kind of leveled off. They only, we're only gaining a few hundred a month, where our viewership is going up, but the sponsorship, you know, the, the but the subscribers isn't. So if you guys could go ahead and please subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It just it just helps all the way around. It helps us build our, our channel, and more and more vendors and and sponsors will want to join us. And so we can do these these types of shows, uh, you know, and all the different videos. And I know I haven't been doing a lot of videos. It's because I filmed them. I filmed a whole bunch of videos that I have, and they're ready. They just have to be edited. So I've been so tied up with doing getting the car show ready to go that I really hadn't had time to do the videos. So start looking for those. You'll start seeing those videos again. And um, and so anyway guys I, I don't even know how to tell you those of you that were there and you're watching this video um, thank you thank you for trusting me with your cars to be able to have a good time with them you know you guys came in there you put them in there Friday night some of you left them in there Saturday night after the show and I was I was the keeper of the keeper of the keys um, that was pretty cool it really was and I thank you all for that um, those of you that didn't make it for whatever reason, you guys missed out. I'm telling you what, it was a show from the beginning that it started all the way to the time that it ended. And um, I still am getting phone calls. And if you look on Corvette Channel, you look on a lot of the Corvette sites that are, that are anywhere where people are involved in, the, in this, um, the California or Nevada areas, um, you're going to see that people took a lot of pictures and people had a lot of fun so so anyway it, it was it was really really fun I think it's gonna be probably turn out to be one of the very best in show indoor shows um, around so guys thank you guys again for watching I'm gonna jump into the video now and uh, we'll catch you on the next one okay All right have a good one hey everybody we are here at the Grand Sierra Hotel 
in the Silver State Pavilion Friday night after the cars have all been uh, all been staged. Um, it is about 11 o'clock on Friday night and these cars are in here for the night and we will be opening the doors um, Saturday morning at 7 a.m. So as you can take a look here, I'm going to just like kind of out and you can kind of see here, I'm standing up on the stage right now, uh, but I'm going to walk you around all these cars. This is the, um, this is very, very impressive um, group of cars here. They're going to, uh, somewhere in the ballpark of a little, I think around 105 cars right now, and we have more that are going to show up tomorrow. You can see all the trophies that are there too. But I just want to be able to give you kind of a bird's eye view from up above on what that looks like. And you can see the quality of these cars. It's just, I don't know, I, I'm, this show has been a lot of work to put on. It's a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of money. But I can tell you this, right now, it's definitely worth it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down the stairs here and uh, we're going to do, do a little video here so to give you what's going on here. So you can see this is all, this is, you can see some of the prizes that we've got going on here too. This thing, uh, I think we have a total with the best of show. We also have, there's 69 trophies that are up there. For all different categories, Cor Corvette and Camaro both. And we have a lot of different things going on here. Um, we have a lot of different companies. Extreme Online Store has donated uh, seat covers for C7 as well as and, C and floor mats. And Wind Restrictor has donated a C8 Wind Restrictor. Here's some of the some more floor mats. We've got various uh, different things here that we've got. We've got uh, ACS Composite has donated a set of rock guards for uh, the C8. And then you can see all of the main prize table that we've got over here, all for different stuff. I mean, it ranges from signs to summit racing bags, uh, LED light lighting kits, hats, t-shirts, die cast cars, uh, Oracle, uh, Oracle side markers uh, for all various different years, uh, Corvettes and Camaros, and that was uh, courtesy of Vet Lights. And we've got hats and shirts and cologne and uh, signs and clocks, wine, hats again, some Corvette Channel mugs. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. I think the total on this, um, we're somewhere in the ballpark of probably around $8,500 worth of prizes. And so I'm gonna come out here, and we're gonna start right in the middle, guys. Um, this is probably my one and only time I'm ever gonna be able to get to do this, uh, to be able to walk this all by myself. There's millions of dollars in this room, and I tell you, getting this all set up was just, crazy uh, it took about four hours to load all of these cars in here correctly but uh you know i think it came out really nice so we're going to start right over here this is herb's car the ones i know i'll point out there's a lot of these i don't know we have people that have come i honestly want to say i am beyond um what would i say uh i feel very very fortunate and very privileged that these guys have actually come this far. I think what we have is we have two that's really long way away. We have one car that I know is from Montana. I know we also have one that came all the way from Florida. And we have one uh, gentleman, his wife, uh, they made it a bucket list to be able to come out to California to um, go over the uh, Golden Gate Bridge. And when they found out that this show was here, um, they live in St. Louis, Missouri, and they decided that they were going to come to our show. So the fact that people actually wanted to come to my show, I don't even know. I mean, it's very humbling, very humbling. So guys, I just want to show you something here. This car, I mean, obviously, this one's in better shape 
than what mine was when I got it. But, you know, you guys have seen me do a lot of mods. This car looks a lot like mine. The, the front grille, the hood, everything, even the, even the interior looks very much like mine. Okay, this is how it started. And I got this, and when I first got it, I told Jennifer, I said, you know, if I ever got a car like this, I was fortunate enough to do it. I wouldn't want to change a thing. I just love it the way it is. Well, <laughs> you can see what I do with mine now. But anyway, so guys, I'm going to kind of turn the camera this way so we can get, you guys can get the front ends of it. But we're going to walk this whole thing. So hopefully you guys really enjoy this. It's not going to be one of those walkthroughs. It's live. This, this should be good video. Um, the lighting here is perfect for a car show. I mean, you just can't beat it. So, um, this is a beautiful ZR1. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, it's what I would strive to be able to have. I mean, I'm, as you know, I made it a, my car, a clone of it, but this is the real thing. And you know, it's pretty, uh, uh, uh just, <laughs> it's just awesome. There's a few of these around here today too. There's ZR1s of all different classes and it's really nice to see these cars. Not just the ZR1s, but all of them. And some of these colors are just beautiful. And the guys just take such good care of them. This is a C6 ZR1 here. here. Looks like that. This is a Grand Sport. I didn't even really say anything. That's not, not nice. This one you actually recognize, I'm sure. This one is Speedy's car. You've seen that. I've worked a lot on this car. Done a lot to it. And then you can see some of the cars actually have little covers over them right now. Um, this is Richard's car. Um, he's from our Just for Corvettes club. As well as this is Gil's car right here. Again, I've worked on, done a lot of work on this car too. And then this car you probably have seen. Um, I don't know if I have her permission. Hopefully I'm not gonna get in trouble with Karen, but uh, she has watched all of my videos and she has done so much to this car um it's got a, a an elvis mural on the hood and um you know they've got a, they've got a windscreen in the back there it's just you know tcb and they have she's just she's done it all herself she's taken it apart she's taken the bumpers off she's changed the headlights herself um, the only thing I think that they haven't, she didn't do to this car is to um, put on the Lamborghini doors. She actually, in the last show, last in last uh, weekend in Vallejo, she actually took third place. And then we have a, looks like a local here. And if this is the one, yeah, yeah, so this is a local car, beautiful C3. Uh, and then we've got one that's all covered up, it's asleep. Okay. And then we've got we've got some C8s here. We didn't get a pile of them, but it, and we've got a we've got a pretty good pretty good chunk of them. This is a beautiful car. Uh, um, Jennifer and I are really thinking about buying a, a C8 here soon, and um, this is the color that she has told me. She goes, I don't care if we get a convertible or a coupe, but she wants this blue. And then it's a beautiful beautiful c7 as well as a c6 and I've had a couple of those over the years that color oh I just love that car can't tell that I'm uh, really like burgundy right here's a really nice c c8 here as well as another one okay and then you guys probably know uh, you guys have probably recognized this car this is Terry and Linda's car You've seen Terry help me on on the show many many times, so he's put on a little little display there. And then Kathy and Cirillo's car, '62. They're from Sacramento. This is a beautiful car here. And take a look at this thing. Isn't this nice? Really really nice. And then we've got a C6. And then really nice Camaro. Very nice. 
We're gonna walk you guys back here. We tucked our cars here in here, kind of make sure that we were out of the way. Give everybody else the limelight, but they are here. There's Jennifer's car, right there. As well as my car. Now you guys have already probably seen the video that I put up, that was a couple days ago actually where I literally tore that splitter completely off on this car. And I showed you some basic stuff of what I did, but we got lucky. I had this splitter in stock and I had the paint in stock. And so you guys probably saw this. If you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it. But anyway, uh, I was able to put it back together from start to finish in 18 hours. So that's just a, what we can do if we have to. And then you can see the trailer here. This is from Meta Motorsports and Meta Chevrolet. Um, they have been awesome. Even though they sponsor the Copo Camaros, um, you know, they decided they were going to support, sponsor and support the Corvette channel. And it's been, they, they've just been great to us. And so they're here today. They went ahead and put some motors on there, on the engine stands and they just ordered in this beautiful LT4 that's normally in a Z06. They got it here. So I think you're looking at about $18,000 for that motor. But if you guys, these guys do ship all across the country. So if you guys need motors you know, or anything parts wise, be sure and reach out to them. They will be happy to help you, okay? All right, so now we've got a, um, this is a really beautiful, beautiful ZL1. Um, you can see here he's got he's got it pretty well done up. A little checkerboard floor and the whole shoot and match. It's very cool, very cool. And this thing is in. <laughs> he's uh, this is an Autorama car. I'm you know we've got some stuff in here that you just don't see normally, and this is just really cool. So hopefully, you guys, for this video, hopefully this video is making up for some of the terrible connections that I've had over time that has, you know, I've had different conversations or different uh, messages saying, oh, you need 4K, you need better cell phone reception, whatever it may be. But hopefully we're filming this, uh, you know, like I said, uh, it's about, it's 1120 at night um, before the show. And um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be able to film this so it'll be end up being a, a full on um, video of its own. But we'll, we will be doing, you will have already seen these cars probably due to a live broadcast. I'm going to sneak back over here because I kind of snuck in the back and I don't want to miss any cars. So I'm going to start right back over here where this Camaro is at. I don't want to miss any one of these cars. So... Um, so it's uh and i am i'm so bad with names uh darian no this one is darian's car he's they're coming out of oregon guys they came all the way here from oregon we did the southern oregon um um weekend up in grants pass oregon just a month or so ago it was a great show um and uh darian was there and his car couldn't go because he was redoing if you notice He's putting a different motor in it. So you can see that he's got this LT4 motor in that. This car is a Stingray. It came with an LT1. So he's got it all done up. He just got it done. He was scrambled to make sure that it got finished for this show. And then his buddy, which I apologize. I know I'm so bad with names, guys. But I know you're watching, going to be watching this video, and I can't remember your name, so please don't hate me. But I love this car. I really love the ZR1. And, um, and so they came down from Oregon just for this show. I, like I said, I'm just, I feel very, very privileged that, that you guys all came. I really do. We got a nice Camaro here. Very, very cool. You can see that's got an LS motor in it too. You see right there. Very cool. And then we've got the incredible Hulk Camaro. I know you guys have probably seen pictures of this on the internet. So all these things, uh, all the cars, they've got the light, all the LEDs. I mean, these things light up. They, it, 
it just they're they're beautiful. You're gonna see that tomorrow. Um, this is a perfect venue if you've got a wind restrictor, or you've got any uh, you know LED lighting or anything like that. This is the perfect lighting to be able to show that off, and we're gonna show this off tomorrow. Another beautiful Camaro. Look how wide those rear wheels are. That extended fender. Another beautiful Camaro. Look, he's already got. He's even got the little guards there to keep you out. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Very cool. All right. Then we're gonna come over here, and there's a Z06 here. Right there. I mean, these are just top quality cars, guys. I mean, I'm. The fact that they actually came to my show, <laughs> man, this is just awesome. You can't, can't dream this up. I can tell you that, but this is just work. Take a look at this, guys. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Look at the look at the painting on the hood. Isn't that nice? Very cool. All right. Now this gentleman right here, this is a bone stock LT. Uh, it's a one LT uh, Stingray, and this gentleman loves this car. He totally loves it, and he takes such good care of it. This is a 2020. There's not a flaw on this thing. It's just perfect. So um, you don't always have to modify everything to really enjoy it and love it. And then we've got a nice, beautiful C7. Grand Sport. There we go. So this one's got, this one's a uh, Stingray. But he's done some heavy modifications to it and a nice wrap, looks like. He's got a lot of different stuff going on here. He's got the, I think that's the ACS front uh, grill as well as a different hood I don't know who makes that but I, and then also the wing so got a lot of stuff going on on that car very cool all right and then we got another c8 I mean there's like I said guys there's some c8s but there's not a lot of them right another one and then so far, I think, unless I have not seen it yet, this is the only Generation 2, or there's only two Generation 2 cars here today. This one is beautiful. And then here's a, here's a Stingray. Beautiful car. And then you guys probably recognize this one. This is, this is uh, Jennifer and I's car. We just kind of tucked it over the way, out of the way, just put it on display. And then we have, uh, for those of you that are in Reno, guys, um, this is Precision Detailing um, out of Reno. And they are here doing, uh, he's, he's almost finished with his display. And um, so if you are in the area and um, you need to get, uh, he does some pretty cool stuff. Uh, he showed me that he has a trick of being able to um, fix scratches in fenders and doors without having to repaint the whole panel, which is very good. And you always, you know, trying to keep these cars as original as possible. So that's always awesome. As well as he has a, he's the only one I know of that offers a lifetime warranty on, on the uh, headlight repair. So something to keep in mind. Okay. That's precision, uh, precision detail in Reno. And then we have this uh, second generation Camaro. This one is from Grumpy's Hot Rods and then they came all the way from Marysville, Yuba City out here to help support the channel. And they came and they also donated um, a, a muffler, uh, muffler delete package um, as well as a dyno uh, for the raffle. Now, if you guys don't know what a buffalo delete package is, is basically what they do is they go ahead like on a C6 or C7 or C5, that type of thing, and they can do it on other ones also, but it's just removing the muffler 
and straight piping it right there even though they're leaving the cat and all that type of stuff in the pre-cat so it just it still makes it where it's smog legal but um it makes it where you didn't have to spend thousands of dollars on an exhaust you're doing like 400 bucks and it makes it it just sounds awesome it just really does i've done that a lot for my my customers so let me walk you over to these cars over here and then i'll kind of sneak back over here all right, so here's one of the cars that uh, I've worked on before. I worked on plenty of this car. I've ceramic coated it. I've done a lot of a lot of the mods to it. This is a 2023. Uh, Kevin Reynolds owns this car. Um, he also has an orange Z06. So I know some of you guys have seen this, uh, seen one of at least his cars. Um, this man knows how to deck a car out. I gotta say, and and his trophy room <laughs> actually shows it. I mean, he just really knows how to how to do it right. All right, so now we've got a, a C6 Z06, and um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at this thing. Um, take a look at this motor. Isn't this great? I don't want to step on his rugs, but look at that. Isn't that nice? Very very cool. And he's got a stereo system to die for in here. Try not to be too obtrusive, guys. Let me show you some of the work that we did on on Kevin's car. Hopefully the camera was picking this up. It's kind of in a dark area here, but all the carbon fiber that's on this car, we did it. There in our shop. All right. Now... Those of you that know family and friends car car club, this is uh, Archie Archie Lee. This is his carbon sixty five. His wheels are the reason that I have mine. They just got done putting on their show in Vallejo, and it was a really good success. They did a great job. And then I'm going to sneak over here. Um, this is Herb Collins Herb and Yvonne Collins C seven. I have done so much to this car, it's crazy. And uh, Herb is always coming up with more and more stuff. And he's emceeing this show. And, and um, you know, he asked me if I, would, if I would put this show on. And I thought about it long and hard, and I said, you know what? Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. Why not? Let's do this. So we are doing it. All right, so let's sneak back around over here, guys. We'll come back over to this blue car, over to the blue C8. And this is Kathy's car. So take a look at her license plate, guys. I probably shouldn't be showing you that, but I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> and she is a little sassy. So, Kathy, when you're watching that, you'll know. <laughs> All right, so she also has a C7 at home, too. So that's her C8. We've got a C7 right here. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Got a C7 with that hood on there. That looks awesome. Very cool. And that one is a Callaway, guys. And look at that. Just a beautiful car. And I'm sure it's fast. All right. And then here's Lance. This is Lance's car. I've done all the... I did the uh, front splitter, side skirts, and the, and the uh, spoiler on it. And then I gave him the ideas uh, that he should change his wheels. And he did. And it looks freaking awesome. All right. So we've got, got another C7. And I think we already covered this one right here, the C, the C7 here. So we're going to sneak back over here, guys. I'll try to get all of them here as we go. Now take a look at this, guys. This gentleman paid for his, he paid for his, his poker run. He paid for his to come into this show and then almost decided not to bring it in because he didn't think that this car was show worthy. Take a look at that. The car's beautiful. 
So we were actually able to convince him to go ahead and bring it in. So guys, if you are in need of a C8 and you are looking to buy a C8, this one is a 2020. I'm going to scoot this information up there just like that so you can see it. All right. So there's a phone number there, and it's a 2LT, 110,000 best offer. Um, so beautiful car. There you go. So if you're looking, I guess he just bought a brand new 2023, I think is what it was, or 2022. So now he's got two C8s, and he needs to sell one of them. Speaking of selling cars, we're going to be putting up our Camaro uh, for sale. So if you guys are interested in our Camaro RSS, um, let me know. But uh, anyway, there you go. There's a beautiful C C6 right there. Now this C6 right here, this is Omar's car. And I have worked on this a lot. He's got a lot of lighting. He's got light rings. He's got you name it. He's got it on this thing under glow lighting. And it is a beautiful car. I love this color. All right. Then we've got a, we've got a C7. Z, Z06. And then we've got a Grand Sport right here. All right, another another Grand Sport. Okay, so now we're gonna walk back. We're gonna walk up here. Yeah, we're like twenty. I think we're about twenty six minutes into this video, and we are. Eh, we're probably somewhere around halfway, three quarters of the way through. I'm just gonna come back up here. I don't know if you guys can hear that music in the background. Hopefully not too bad. The uh, the pool party is going on <laughs> right outside. All right, so we have a we have a Camaro here. Another Camaro. The Camaros were late bloomers getting here today. Everyone was like, oh, when we did our meet and greet last night, it was all Corvettes that were just here on display. And was like, where's the Camaros? I go, they're coming. Trust me. So, guys, this is another local car. It's a young couple that owns this car. And they, again, did not think that they were, their car was worthy of being in this show. And after he was talking to me, um, he's like, well, it's very much close to stock. And... I said, well, we actually have a trophy for that. So this car is very, very stock, but he has done a lot of work. It's very, very, um, uh, you know, everything has been replaced on it. He, and it's kind of a labor of love the way he was talking about it. So so I, I think that car is really, really nice. I just wanted to point that out. And we've got a C5. I'm excuse me, geez, C5. I'm so sorry. Generation 5 car, Camaro. And uh, this one is, I believe, a Z28. Yes, it is. These are rare, guys. Um, there's not that many of them. Because um, these were, actually, in those days, was still, they were considered a street-legal race car. They really were. Another one right here. All right. Now, this car here is Kyle's car. And his mom, actually Kyle has a, has a C6 also, C6 convertible. Uh, the C6 that's right there is his mother. Uh, um, that's uh, Lydia's car. And we'll be walking by there and taking a look at it. But, uh, you know, he definitely, the, you know, the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Um, she loves her car. I've done a lot of work to that one too. This one is Sue, uh, Sue and Joe's car. They brought both of those. I'm sure you guys have known, seen these before. I did the ceramic coating on this car also, and she loves it. The very first show she went to, she won. Um, so that's uh, pretty cool. Most of the cars that I have ceramic coated have won in the very next show that they actually went to. And this is John's car. You can see, take a look at the, the side of it, guys, because I'm going to swing around to the other side of it, and you'll be able to see it. But you notice that... This is this is in uh, to honor the veterans, um, and you notice that it's what he calls the old guard, which is you know the 
Vietnam era, has the old helicopter and, and that type of stuff on the side. Um, we'll swing around to the other side and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's got all the new, you know, the aircraft carriers and things like that. So this is Jeanette's car. You can see there's Dan's car right there. So they both brought their cars uh, from um, Yuba City. Okay. And then we've got a, another C8. And guys, I love this color. I really do. Um, but it was a toss-up when we were thinking about doing it, whether we do that or we do the blue. And I think Jennifer's really stuck on making sure we do the blue one. This is a really pretty car right here. 67 really really nice car now i gotta say guys take a look at this zr1 this is a 1994 zr1 that looks like it literally just rolled off the showroom floor i mean you can eat off this car it looks awesome um i've got an 88 you know standard uh corvette and i love that car but man i tell you this thing is just immaculate I don't think there's a chip on it. And then we have a C8. Pretty car. Just love the silvers on these cars. Beautiful C7. And I have done all of the skirting on this, all the ground effects on it. And um, I try to take care of this for, um, uh, for Kimberly and her husband, John. It's a, it's a beautiful C7. It's a 2015. And then we've got a beautiful C6. Very cool. And then we'll swing around over here. And we'll catch this, this row right here. Really nice, nice CO6. Got a new, new hood on it. Very cool. And there's this is a really cool Camaro. It really is. Uh, I think it's really neat. Um, and the young lady that drives it, just a sweetheart. We were When we were loading these cars in here today, we brought so many of them in at a time, and then we had to leave her outside for a little bit, and she sat there like a trooper in the sun. Um, just super nice lady. Nice, nice girl. Got a nice uh, C8 here. And then you guys can't really see this. He's got this covered up, but I, I'm gonna zoom in on the paint, what you can see here. This is an, I think this was an 80, no, this is a 90. But take a look at the, look at the paint. See if I can get my shadow out of the way. That's original guys. It's an NCRS car. Look at the interior, look at that dash. It's just awesome. This guy loves his car, that's for sure. All right. And then look at this C8, or C7, C6, I should say. And I've done all the skirting, and um, this is Mike and Rebecca's car. I've done all the stuff to it. Um, put a wind restrictor in it. And uh, they are, they totally love this car. We've got a we've got a, um, a black C5. This is Tina's car. Really pretty car. She's been bugging me about being able to get this in for a ceramic coating. I told her after the show I would be able to do it, but it shines pretty darn good, don't you think, guys? And then here's Dan's car. And then. We're coming up on the side over here of John's car again. You can see what I was talking about. This has got the, you know, the fighter jets and the air, aircraft carriers and things like that on it. So, um, just a beautiful car. He's a military brat, and he just wanted to make sure that he um, honored the veterans. And then this is Joe's car. I think he's going to end up bringing his, this one to me for a ceramic coating also. And then this is Lydia's car, and we were talking about Kyle's car, remember, in the back, back there? Okay. Well, this is Lydia's, and we have done so much to this. We, we did the, uh, 
We did the ceramic coating, which she totally fell in love with. And then we put these seat covers in the car. I mean, it's just, she's just done a beautiful job, you know, with the things that she selected. The, uh, the waterfall light that lights up as well as the, um, as one in the back. Those are the Oracle lights. We install those. So um, if you need that done, you're anywhere near me, let me know. Okay. All right. This is Mia's car. And I know you guys have seen that car many a time. Okay. And then we've got a, a white Camaro here, another Z28. I've never seen so many of these Z28s in one place. I'm, again, privileged, guys, very much so. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, what do we got here? This is a C6, but what do we got in here? So this one's got an Idlebrock E4 supercharger in it. So this one probably gets up and moves too, but beautiful blue. I hope the lights are coming through, the colors are coming through on this so you guys can see it. And then we've got a, uh, a, a white C8 right here. Looks like somebody left their towel on the floor. And then I'm sure you guys recognize this one. This is Grace and Jeff's car. And Jeff just got done doing all the pinstriping here on the, on the front, on all of the, uh, the front arrow. So that thing just shines. So very, very nice. So anyway, guys, that is about it, okay? Um, you guys are getting the behind the scenes of what it looked like you will have already like i said by the time you're seeing this video um you guys will have already seen the live broadcast hopefully tomorrow the live broadcast will be better because they've got high speed internet in here and um anyway it's uh hopefully that will uh make it for a good for good video time okay you can see back here we've got uh, we've got security walking around so um you know we've, they're running they're running their their scans every 30 minutes and so um this way there's you know they're all taken care of so anyway uh hopefully you guys have enjoyed this i just want to thank you guys all for supporting the channel if you guys have not already um if you guys have not already subscribed to the channel please do it just helps me um so much it helps with the, with the, you know, my, my Google rating, it, uh, you know, because we're, you know, we're on Google now. We're all, you know, we're all over the place. We're on YouTube, Facebook, you know, Instagram. So, you know, it just helps us quite a bit. And, um, it also helps with the sponsors willing to be able to go ahead and get us going, get us more, more stuff so we can do more things like this and we can do more TV shows and, uh, you know, you, you name it. So anyways, if you guys haven't already subscribed, please do. All right. So, um, we will be coming to you live tomorrow. So like I said, you will have already seen all this, but, um, I just want to say guys, all of you that are, that have cars in here and you are watching this video tonight. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay. It really means a lot to me. It really does one that you came and you trusted yourselves and your cars with me to do this type of show and one that you parked all these cars and you left them here for me to walk around and protect for one night and i don't know what to say it means a lot okay so anyway guys you guys have a good night and i will talk with you guys later okay good night
you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe.